Claudette Colvin, who was a young 15-year-old girl in Montgomery, Alabama during the height of the Civil Rights Movement. And at the age of 15, she was actually the first person to refuse to give up her seat on the bus during segregation time. Oftentimes her story is overshadowed by the story of Rosa Parks, but Claudette was also an activist who saw something that happened in her community and she no longer wanted to be a victim of it. The story was not elevated until very recently because let's face it, she was a 15 year old black girl from Montgomery, Alabama who was pregnant during the time of the civil rights movement and people didn't see her as a perfect activist. I was also 15 years old uh, when my brother Andre was shot and killed in Philadelphia. As a 15 year old, I started doing activism mostly around gun violence and criminal justice reform. And I think as I've learned about, as I've shown up in spaces that oftentimes weren't meant for me, I'm reminded of Claudette's story because she reminds me that there's no age requirement to change the world, that young people through small acts of rebellion through small acts of kindness can also force us all to look at the world a little bit differently. And so I choose to move through the world taking up space, allowing my story to be unperfect, but showing young people that they can show up as their full self and still be able to change the circumstances of their community and hopefully the circumstances of the world. A lot of the work I do now is that I advocate on behalf of global education around the world for some of the most marginalized young people. Young people have always been at the forefront of change, right? They haven't always had the money, the power, or the title, but they have used their voice and oftentimes their bodies and oftentimes given up their life to be able to advocate for things that are bigger than themselves, trying to make it better for all of us.